where I said vision was important, the next thing is discipline. Business requires you to be so disciplined. And the thing is, it translates to your life as well. So if I'm not disciplined in my personal life, it seeps into my business as well. I found that if I'm disorganized at home, even in office, they're disorganized. I don't know who is coming. The team somehow also, there's like a disorganization that I cannot tell. So it's required me to be show up for myself and say, Dorina, you can do it. Even on the days that I don't feel like doing it because I found out that I cannot run my business on feelings and emotions. I'll never go ahead. I'll never push forward. So whether I feel like it or I don't feel like it, I show up to work, whatever I'm meant to do that day, even if it's just to tick one to-do list, but that one to-do list pushes me forward to where I want Rina by Rina to go. Yeah. So um, discipline in myself also meant systems and structures, which is my second point. Do them now. If you have a small, let's call it not small, young business, do the SOPs right now. Write everything down. Even in Habakkuk, it says, write the vision, make it plain on paper. The second part of it says, so that a herald who reads it can run with it. Who are the heralds? Our employees. So if you're not writing the SOPs down, what needs to be done? When you come in the morning, what should, how are we opening the door? How are the windows open for fresh air? Is the coffee or the sugar or the whatever dishes full so that client hakujin jo tunanza kufikiria, oh, hakuna sukari, nani, ebu enda po naivas chini, uchukwe sukari kilomoja? No. Write everything down, whatever you're thinking about. I'm a writer, I have... A thousand notebooks and one black book, as my husband calls it, where I write all his wrongdoings. <laughs> I don't have the black book. He thinks I do. <laughs> so I write everything down. And it's also like a testimony to me because on the days I'm feeling so frustrated and so fed up and feel like giving up, uh, I go back to these notebooks and I see, oh, in 2020, I really wanted to do Centonomy Entrepreneur and this is what came out of it. And I have a good thing that came out of it. And I'm like, okay, Atayi Enye Napitia Sai is a small thing compared to what I was going through then and I was able to overcome. Yeah. Um, so write the SOPs down. Systems and structures are so important. I commend the gentleman because to go on a holiday as an entrepreneur is a big thing. Because most of us here are so tired, we wish we could just take one day off or one week without the office phone, without anything, go sleep, don't talk to anyone, but will the clients come? Will the money be paid? Will the clients be happy? All these questions are running through our minds, but the only way to go to Mombasa or wherever that you go to enjoy a even two days or three days away from the business is because the systems and the structures are in place. The brides, the whoever's, the people in your businesses, the clients, they are not missing you because everyone knows what they are meant to do. It has not been easy to put down the systems and the structures. Sometimes I'm the first one to break them. I'm like, ah, okay, oh, and then I remember because once you show them, they're like babies. Once you show them that we can eat the sukari, they'll keep dipping their fingers. Before you know it, they are having the whole jar in the mouth and eating the sugar. So you also have to adhere to the systems and the structures that you put into place. Numbers matter. I used to be those people because math and physics were not my strongest point. So, ah, yani this thing used to look like a mountain just to read the numbers of my business. Of course, that tells you that I didn't start with numbers. Mi kitambu unge niuliza, najua zanya zimeingia. Izo zanya, izo najua, izo najua. How I've spent the money, I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you where the money is going. I'll ask for the receipts. See, I know, to take the receipts is important but I put them somewhere. I'm just piling them, piling them, piling them. Before you know it, I have receipts for three months. Ah, when it's time to reconcile, I'm looking at this receipt. I'm wondering, so this date was when? Because even the paint has run out. And 5,000, I paid 5,000 for what? Now I'm trying to remember so that now I can reconcile everything. I don't remember. Eventually I get fed up. I give up. I say, okay, I'll start on Monday again. 
before you know it it's been a month it's been six months it's been a year it's two years you don't have books in order but when i came to nairobi me told god if you give me a second chance with this business i'm going to do the right things all the mistakes i did in that i'm not going to repeat them again so again another thing that took all my energy to learn was uh the books account keep uh, bookkeeping and accounting it was so bad it was a prayer point <laughs> me used to tell god just open my mind let me see what i'm not seeing like let me understand let me find somebody who can break down bookkeeping for me so that i can digest it and do it but i learned if i don't know my numbers i'm probably running a very expensive hobby and somebody asked me last year i started seeing a mentor and he asked me is it a lifestyle business or a legacy business if it's a lifestyle business you're not going to care about the numbers so you just want to pay your bills and go out with your friends okay fine the business can do that because ukipata pesa unapeleka kwenye unataka but if it's a legacy business then you're going to treat it differently and that's how i end know your numbers and ask yourself is it a legacy business or is it a lifestyle business then you'll know how to treat your business <laughs>